We were here today with families who uh, signed up to get gifts and we helped them get their gifts wrapped. We prayed with families. Greeted the people and talked to them when they came in and, and walked with them and talked with them about you know, their life and their kids. And so, and as we did that, we, we went and we prayed together and we wrapped presents together and got their gifts. Our gifts were handed to us, took them to the uh, wrapping stations talk to them about what their life was like and what brought them here. And uh, then we escorted them to the, to the prayer room or even we went out to the parking lot, said a little prayer out there with them. I was over in the children's building, um, helped coordinate all the parents that bring their kids here and they don't want to see what Santa Claus is bringing them so they bring them over to us and we have a movie, we have craft stations and every 15 minutes we rotate them around. Um, I helped in the children's. I did I did a, just a classroom and we had them rotate through. I enjoyed it, had a bunch of help, it was, it was great. And the kids were a lot of fun. Basically, I did a lot of talking. <laughs> we walked through, I got to um, meet with all kinds of people and got to chat and just talk about life. That was one of the big things and everyone was just amazed at what they got. It was incredible. It was so much better. When we left the house, I had one feeling about it and when I'm leaving this afternoon, I had another feeling about it. This is my third year doing this, and it is always a blessing. I always come out of this feeling like I got all the gifts. Um, let's see, my favorite part, well, one is I love the kids, but today we had several kids that came in and they were a little hesitant. You know, they don't know anybody, they don't want to go over there, um, and they you know, did a few things, but when they left, as they're walking out the door, I heard one of them look up at their mom and say, hey, I want to come back here got to deliver some presents to some homes, so that was kind of nice too. Well, basically, uh, she didn't have enough room in her vehicle for her kids in the, in the gifts, so we had to drop the kids off because I was like in spy mode. I was stealthy, hanging back a little bit, and so uh, <clears throat> the kids wouldn't know that I had their presents in the back of the truck. There was one little girl, she put the stickers on my face. She, me and her, we, we were sitting there uh, decorating a little paper together, and it was, it was pretty fun. So I met this couple today, and they, um, kind of opened up about their life a little bit. By the time we got finished talking with them about, we were sharing about families and church, they were both crying and we were both crying and exchanged phone numbers. I don't know, I, where do you go to meet strangers and by the time we get finished wrapping presents and talking with them, you exchange phone numbers. The biggest thing, and I was even talking about this with some of the families, because I had one family that asked me, why do you guys do this? Like, it's amazing, but why? That's what we're here for. We're here to give. We're here to serve others. It's not about what you're doing for yourself. It's about doing for others. Selfishly, I feel great about all this, so it almost makes me feel guilty, because I leave after today going, oh my gosh, that was amazing. And then I feel bad because I'm like, now I'm being selfish, because I'm doing this to feel good. But our kids, we they went shopping. I mean, we made it a big ordeal, you know. But we also told them too, you know, okay, so you guys have this long list of things that you want. We're not going to get all this because we're going to use some of the money that we would have used towards that to go to help other kids. So we made them, they know that that's what we right. did and why we did it. So they also know that they contributed. Maybe, you know, they had this long list of things that you're not going to get most of that list now because we were able to help other kids that wouldn't have had something otherwise. The thing I take away from this every year is that there are people in our community that, that need help and God has blessed me enough to help them with my time and my resources, and, and I'm gonna do it. I'd say just, again, a, a passion for loving people. I mean, really, um, and not necessarily in my nature. To just meet people and just to talk to people you don't know, and to just really genuinely want to talk to them and just really want to love on them. Um, just, just a passion for loving people. Today, with our portion of Christmas in Coweta, we were able to help over 140 families receive Christmas gifts that they wouldn't have been able to receive if we had not been a part of it. That was over 350 kids and almost 200 volunteers from here that helped out with that process. It was a great day. I saw so many people laughing, crying, just enjoying being around these families that are in need. 
And without your help, CCC, we wouldn't have been able to make this happen. From the beginning to the end, you guys purchased the gifts, you showed so much love to these children, and you were just willing to sit with the families and just listen to their needs, pray with them, and just love on them. Thank you so much for what you do, and you've made today and future years great.